Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So we did all the repairs after the last two missions. There was barely any, not a whole lot, but those are all done. And we've got half a, half a month left till the financial report. We're doing really well with our funds. So we're going to jump straight into a contract today. We're going to take the general right here. And it's basically against an abandoned officer. I don't know, whatever. It's some officer on the ground here. I'm going to have to come up with, I guess, a better storyline for this because the people we're facing are just, you know, I don't know. Anyway, so let's negotiate this. We're going to go full salvage. Uh, we got the cash. We don't need any more. Let's accept this. And hopefully we find a um, a good primary mech. Now, it said they'll pay 33% increase in salary for each... Um, what are we going to do here? Uh, Wolverine and Phoenix Hawk. For each Lance that's destroyed, which means, leads me to believe that there's like probably like two Lances. So, uh, at least two lances extra. Alright, there we go. So, uh, this should be fun. Let's deploy and get this sucker done. Alright, here we go. So we do have two lances. And I have no idea what we're up against. So we've got a flanking lance on the right and a main lance ahead. So... I know, right? Um, we are going to do our standard move. Oh, Darius, please. It almost makes him sound like he's the one planning the ambush, just to see if we can get us killed or not. Okay, I know we're moving up into the heat. But the great thing about this is most of our mechs are relatively heat efficient, but the enemy isn't, usually. So it's really to our advantage to not be in the water. Alright, Hickory. Um, get the whacker up into here. Pretty good command of the field from there. Okay, so I'm hearing vehicles from over here, which I think is probably a good thing. Um, we're only getting two, two and nine salvage, so the less crappy mech parts we get, the better. Now, normally there's somebody up here, but I don't see anybody. So it looks like we may only be up against three guys. And since 85 tonner, 100 tonner, oh, well, isn't that just wonderful? Let's hope they're uh, low on armor. Roger that. Full speed. Okay, 65 tonner. Yeah, I see that. Maybe it's that elusive catapult we've been trying to get forever. Unknown vehicle. It says 10 tons, but it's probably the commander's wingman. Alright, we got three assaults too heavy so far. Let's wait for our uh, power cannon to get up here. So, assault vehicles. It looks like they're going to absorb us. What's this guy? That's the leader, I think. Or is it? One, two, three, four. Uh, I don't know. This has got me worried now. This is making me think that there's like a command lance and two other lances. That's three lances. And if this guy's got a hundred tons. Bet you that's an atlas. Let's hope they don't have full armor. Can't afford to take the plank planks. 35 tonner. So that is probably part of the command lance. Oh, God. He 
Stay in the trees, my friend. Stay in the trees. So it is an atlas. That's an ass D hat. Um, AS7, eh? And it's full armor, of course. Of course, why would it be anything otherwise, other than that? Firestarter H. Well, this guy is a general, so. Wield APC. See if we can knock this guy out. Probably not, but we'll take a shot at it. Oh, yeah. Our target is bugging out. Stop it before it gets away. What? Oh, my God, no. Yep. <laughs> yep. Apparently. How fast do you think we can kill an Atlas, guys? <laughs> Jesus Christ. What the hell? What the hell? I didn't think that would happen. I thought only if we targeted the command vehicle that would happen. That was a stalker over there. Another Atlas. Well, I don't think we could have pulled this one off anyway. Maybe it's a blessing that that happened? I don't know. I don't know what to say. Maybe I should have just stayed hidden. Let them, well, we might be able to take the Atlas down before he gets away. Oh, we hit him for 110. Okay, does he have, I'm interested to know. Is that an XL engine? A light engine, okay, so we do have to blow him up completely. Ah, not enough chevrons of evasion on the bushwhacker. At least we're in the trees, though. Oh, man. And at least he's spreading it around. Damage minimal. Wow, nice shot. Whoever that was. That's probably that same misery or whatever it was that we faced that one time. Yep, misery. Better be careful about what you fire, guys. A lot of ace pilots. Not really sure how helpful it is on a, on a heavy mech, like an assault mech. Ah, oh, Crusader. Well, the, well, well, at least we ignore the injury. Damage is light. Um, the good thing about maybe taking this Atlas down before the guy gets away is maybe we'll get some Atlas parts. Yeah, he's down at like 12 in the torso there. We got a CT hit him though, I think. That's hopeful. Well, can't let her get knocked down. So let's vigilance and fire straight on this guy. Without one hit. Oh, he's un unstable. Nice. Huh. 
How brave are we, guys? How brave do you think we should be? Yeah. What can I do you for? Okay, knocked down. Head hit injury ignored. Okay, now he's taking injuries. What's up, boss? Oh, do we crack? Do we just we can't melee that guy? Moving out. Let's try for the head hit. Ah. Yep. Well, pew pewed the back a little bit. Um, how close can we get? I think we just go for the CT hit on this guy and try and kill him. Don't know if we can though. Can definitely take this torso if we hit it though. Is that it? Nope, he's still alive. Oh, he's got an Ultra 20. <sighs> There's their main guy right there. He's got probably two turns to get out of here. Ultra 20 coming up. Okay, at least they missed. See how far their main guy moves. Yeah, he's out of here next turn, so... Yep. <sighs> See if you can get the Atlas. Actually, you know what? Hold on. <sighs> uh, why can't Pylon move? Oh, because he goes... Right, because she... Uh, right, Vigilanced. Then let's reserve. We wanted it for the stability more than anything anyway. Plus, so technically the command lance that flees. Orders. So here's the other thing, too, is we got lots of these guys' parts, too, right? Come on. Now we were going to put the plasma lance on this guy and I forgot. Scored a critical hit. Damn. Got a sprint. So let's leave off this guy. 
And fire the rest of this guy's back. Yep. Okay, Atlas Slayer. 51. Have we got a better chance from anywhere else? 70, right from there. Ah, uh, do we take the heat? Let's take the heat. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, he bailed out though. My heat sinks can't take much more. It's okay, girl. It's okay. We're almost out of here. Just relax. We're going after the Crusader here in a second. Don't have enough for Vigilance, unfortunately. Oh, let's just fire straight on him. Forty-four. I think we missed with the AC-20. Damn it. Well... At least they're fi firing against our highly evasive guys. And if we have another turn left, we can take the Crusader down. Damn it. Crap, you made me unsteady. That's very bad. Very, very bad. Wow, that guy's a terrible shot. Going down, though. Our main guy's got one turn left. Okay. Uh, let's make the best of it, guys. Make the best of this damn thing. Fifty-seven percent. Don't need to be in visible range. Fifty-one percent. Just got to connect to knock him down. Acknowledge. So let's move back here. And let's hope we hit with one. Oh yeah! Tango down. Now, in order to save... Our commander... We gotta do something like this. And the reason for it is we gotta give them other targets to shoot for. If their main mechs are in, in danger, it's gonna give them, it's gonna force them to uh, fire on somebody else. I hope. All right, let's see what they do. I'm worried about this one. Oh! Okay. That was a gift.
they've still all got to shoot, so, um... Let's do this. Don't like being in the open, but we might get lucky and take this guy's leg. Yeah, maybe I'm a Chinese jet pilot. Let's just shoot at him. Let's see if they back up. Well, they are. Now he's jumping. Oh! That was a leg hit. Damn. Nice shooting, buddy. I don't know what that guy is, but he's a good shot. That's an alicorn, probably. It's these guys I'm worried about. Okay, at least Zeus was able to get out before they started shooting at him. Warning. Armor low. Yeah. Oh, you're going to melee. Is five chevrons of evasion enough? Let's find out. Nope. 84 damage. I can't take much more of this. Yeah, we're out of here. All right, they're out of here. Yeah, not much we can do. Mission failed. Yeah. We lost. We didn't get anything out of this. ER large laser. Damn it. Ah, I tried to flood the table as many mech parts as I could, but it didn't really matter. Wow, we lost a lot of cash on that one. Almost a couple hundred thousand. Wow, that was terrible. So, I don't know what to really say about that one. There wasn't really much else we could have done. I mean... I didn't know that targeting the main lance would have had the leader bug out. Because I believe in the past we've done that. It's weird though that um, killing that 10 ton vehicle made them leave. But let's say we hadn't killed that vehicle to start with. He would have been continuously sensor locking us, which would be bad. The Atlas and the Crusader still would have died. Um then I think probably what I would have done is that the fire starter was still hovering around there. I probably would have blasted the fire starter just to remove him from the board. Um, which would then have made them leave. So if I didn't kill the fire starter, I have to let him hit us with heat the continuous the whole time while we took down the misery and the uh, atlas. The atlas would have been the next target because of the ultra 10. Or the Ultra 20. Then the Misery. And then whatever that long range guy with the Gauss Rifle. The super accurate guy with the Gauss Rifle. He would have had to have been the next target. Then the Alicorn. It would have been a long hard fight. I don't know if we... It would depend on what the leader was too. Because... If the leader had... Like an Assault Mech. He was moving pretty slow. So my guess is it was probably a Heavy. He was moving actually quicker than an assault mech would normally have moved. But if it was heavy, well, we may have been able to pull it off. I'm not convinced. I don't know. I'm not convinced. It would have been a tough one. But anyway, now we know better for the next time. Make sure we have another heavy mech there. Don't target the, main, the uh, commander's lance and just kill everybody else off first. So anyway, you live and learn. Um, let's have a look at the mech barracks here. I know we got a few mech warriors that have some experience, and then we'll wrap up for today. Um, Havoc, I'm going to add some gunnery to him right now. Mech warrior training complete. And because he's probably going to be an alternate going in sooner or later. Uh, Raider, um, definitely going to be going with more gunnery. Um, as she's the commander, we want her to be a good shot. Uh, yeah, let's just leave it like that for now. What does this give us? Minus 5% stability taken. I don't think we need to worry about that right away. Uh, who else do we have here? A Riddler. Yeah, we're going to hang on to that. And then Warlock. We're going to hang on to this. I think we're going to go for some more gunnery next on her. 
or, or sensor lock. One of the two. I'm not 100% sure yet. Might be sensor lock. Maybe. Phantom mech. I don't know. It would be kind of nice on a flamer mech to have the avoid damage, but not 100% sure yet. So we'll leave it at that. All right, guys. So we're going to end the episode for today. Sorry it wasn't better, but uh, you live and learn. Um, and next time when we come back, we'll get our second lance back into the game. Actually, you know what? Before we leave, to those that have prematurely left, haha, you didn't get a chance to see us do the uh, Shadowhawk. So let's have a look at the Shadowhawk. Um, I don't think there's anything else we want to add to this guy. Right, we got the plasma and the mediums. There wasn't really anything. We didn't pick up a gyro, did we, I don't think, in the last little while? Or did we? We got the ECM in there already. Yeah, we didn't get a gyro, so not much we can do about that. Okay, so then let's, let's look at the uh, Wolverine. So the Wolverine's not really using the medium lasers all that much, so we got to get him back first here. How many turns is that going to be? Seven more days. Ah, we'll wait till next time. We might be able to pull off two more missions. We got one with the uh, the lighter lance, and then one with this guy, the main lance. Yeah, so we will end it here today. Sorry about that. All right. So if you liked the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And until next time, we will see you all later.